So my name is uh, Rock Malnui. Uh, I'm 31 years old, and I live in Chamonix. No, you can't. Voilà. My mother used to sew some uh, wingsuit, not wingsuit, sorry, some uh, suits for skydiving. And my father was an uh, importator uh, for um, skydiving gear also. So they have a business in skydiving. This is where I come from. So my father is involved in the skydiving since he were in the, in the military, you know, para, you know. And since then, he continues skydiving. He was uh, one of the pioneers in France to, to base jump. He learned in the, in the US. And um, I was then 21 and I started base jumping with him. So it was quite a particular way to learn uh, extreme sport. I don't know so many uh, second generation of base jumper. It's a, it's a special story because I have my father teach me from the morning till the end of the day. This was during uh, my uh, first jump in uh, Lothar So you have my father on the right and me on the left. And he was checking uh, my position, making the last briefing and, and be sure that uh, everything is okay. This was during also the same jump, maybe the first or second. Or He was pretty attentive of what I'm doing and I remember doing a debriefing and having the feedback of what he saw, what, what did I did uh, wrong and things like this. So it was a, yeah, it was a good moment, I remember. And I'm base jumping, when is the season? Maybe two, three times a week, sometimes even more. Sometimes I do two or three jump in a day when, when the weather is good and when I want. Discover the sport, you learn some uh, some feelings, the adrenaline, the concentration, the the, the scared sometimes, and uh, for sure with the experience and the years after, you don't have exactly the same, but you can you can find it in uh, in some ways when you open a new spot, when you try to follow groups, when you do proximity flying. I mean now with the proximity, sometimes I feel like you're too close to stuff. We discussed sometimes with my father about this. He lost a, a lot of friends from, from his generation, like five or six, some good friend of him. It's good to remember, for sure. 
And there is some people who say, okay, he's stupid, he's risking his life and uh, he's doing this. I never thought having a daughter or having a wife or get married will, will stop me, you know. I, ha I find my balance with also all of these sports and uh, I'm happy like this. Yeah, it could be nice to jump till, till 50 years old. I don't know what's my future, you know. If I feel like it's every time I go, I go jumping, I like push myself too much, then maybe I will have this reflection and say, okay, you take too much risk because you're, you're not anymore in the sports. And just doing whatever, just go painting, you know, and uh, maybe I will be happy with, with this also. <laughs> I'm not pushing my, my daughter to do some, some skiing very young, to be a, a competitor or whatever. For her, it's funny to jump from the table on the couch and say bays, you know? So, I don't know, I was at the same place 25 years ago with my father. I don't know. Oh, she will. She will grow up with yeah. this, and ah, we'll have some talks. And yeah, I will bring her to to a spot or to a landing. And uh, okay, check. This is Papa doing some wig shooting. And I don't know. This is life. Also, huh? I try to teach them and talk to them. And this is the best. Uh, um, you know, the best thing I can learn to her. We will see what's uh, what's happening in the future. <laughs>